Welcome to Operation Fishing Freedom. Today we're honored to be sharing the boat with Vietnam War Helicopter Crew Chief John Reichenberg Jr. Duty, honor, sacrifice. Every military veteran has a story to tell. Join pro anglers Jay Garstecki and Ben Olson as they honor the stories of true American heroes on a fishing boat. The mission today is Operation Fishing Freedom. Brought to you by Great Clips. Let's get going here. All right, bud. Today, we head out on the golf with John Reichenberg Jr., better known as Lil John. That's what I've always been called since I was little. My dad was bigger, and my mom would yell, John, and we'd both say, yeah. She said, I gotta do something. So you're Lil John, and my father was Big John. So there's been some good sharks and tarpon around. We're, with the weather, it's gonna be hard, hard to get our little baits. So <laughs> we'll have to catch our bait the old fashioned way on a hook. Southwest Florida in the rainy season, so. <laughs> Just part of the deal down here. As a Vietnam guy, you're used to Any things being Any kind of weather soggy. goes, yep. Yeah. Marco Island, Florida. Long sandy beaches, high-rise resorts, and channels leading to some of America's most pristine backwaters. It's just nature, just seeing how well nature's coming back. And, everything that's living in those mangroves. It's just, it's, I don't know what it is. It just straightens you right out. There you go. Holy cow. For him to come out here, it, re it relaxes him place of solitude even beyond the fishing. And he loves the garage. That was the biggest thing about whether we were going to stay here or not. It's, just, it's therapy just to be working with something that you own and you're making this thing in your vision of what you want it to look like. We start this one and shake the windows. It will shake the wind. It's a blower and all. It's putting out a little over 800 horsepower. I like something with noise. Something old school. Old school indeed, including his 1933 Ford and 68 Corvette rebuilt by Lil John himself. This is my bunker. I control everything. So, you know, it's just, I feel safe in here. I know everything in here is, is mind that I can work with. That it just, it's just great to be able to have this bunker. A garage, a bunker, and safe place to be in control of the memories that linger from Vietnam. It's amazing, you know, how something that many years ago still affects me greatly. I think about the guys I lost that every day is another day to you. But you try to remember those guys. They were only like 19 years old. They caught me an old man and I was 22 when I was in Vietnam. I've left Vietnam, but Vietnam has never left me. Operation Fishing Freedom is brought to you by Great Clips, Recon Boats, and by Yance Valor Foundation. Operation Fishing Freedom Foundation is a nonprofit dedicated to documenting the lives of our military veterans. And your donations allow us to provide education and treatment to our veterans. Log on to our website, OperationFishingFreedom.com, and click on the Donate button. So we're going to rig up these shark rods. 
the Gulf is just shark paradise. There's so much life here. Instead of finding the spot, we're gonna make the spot. Fishing for sharks, they're awesome. It's just a real battle with most sharks. Just let it be live bait. Let it be live bait. It's better at being a fish than you are at making it look like a fish. It's nothing like the water. I mean, any, anybody that's not experienced being on the water or being in a place like this, or if you've never done it, you need to do it. Studies have shown that fishing and spending time in nature have a positive impact on post-traumatic stress. For Lil John, his journey began after graduation. Bachelor of Science, four-year degree, and then all of a sudden, my whole life changed upside down. Lil John and 2.2 million Americans would receive a letter from the government. I was like, whoa, what's this? Draft notice. I said to mom, I'm drafted. I just thought, you know what? We live in the greatest country in the world. We need to do what the country needs. So I went. In fall of 1967, Lil John was inducted into the U.S. Army. In boot camp, I did real well in boot camp. I was like the 13th guy to ever can, to do a double honor graduate. So I figured, okay, I'm gonna go to Vietnam and I'm gonna be home in 18 months. Nah. Everybody else was getting orders to go to Vietnam. They said to me, we're gonna teach you to be an instructor. You're gonna be an instructor on helicopters. I said, whoa. Lil John headed to Fort Eustis, Virginia as an expert on the Bell UH-1. However, the chopper's name would shift and earn the famous nickname, the Huey. The Huey aircraft was the workhorse of the Army back then. I was teaching guys like me that I was five weeks ago. And they'd say, gee, Sarge, what's it like over there? I said, I can't tell you because I ain't been there yet. Whoa. Oh, we got, we got one on here. I got oh, you that time. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, that's a huge shark. He's on right here. Yep, he's on. Oh, yeah. Big shark. Oh, yeah. Big yeah, shark. Yeah, he's, he's working. There he is, right here. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Ah, oh, broke oh, off. Popped him. Dang it. That was one hell of a shark. <laughs> that's just the way it goes sometimes. That's fishing. Yeah, that's the way yeah, it is. Yeah. Fishing's fishing. But it's but that was a good good run. When they found out I was going to Vietnam, that was really heartbreaking for my mom and dad, my sister too. To Unchain yourself from your mother and father getting on an airplane, which they think from all the news on TV, what was my chance of survival, you know? And then being in helicopters was even worse for survival. When you get off that airplane in Vietnam, the first thing I said, how in the hell do you do anything in this heat? And we got one line going and one line coming. These guys are all going home and we're all starting. Operation Fishing Freedom is brought to you by Great Clips, Power Pole, and by St. Croix Rods. I have two girls and a boy. I have a Holly, she's the oldest. Heather's uh, the baby and John's in there. I delivered Heather in a car. I never made it to the hospital with her. My wife was sort of looking at the stopwatch wrong and all I did, I ended up delivering the baby in a parking lot of a fire department. That was, that was like a wild time. If you'd like to see more behind the scenes footage and bonus content, follow us on social media and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're a US military veteran living in Illinois, Wisconsin, or Minnesota, log on to takeavetfishing.org to find an event near you. Produced in association with the Yance Valor Foundation. Come here, Jim. Come here, Jim. She'll be a little scared of you guys. Come here, come here. There you go. There you go. Kay likes to put bows in her hair. So, and she's got a bling, bling collar on. But this, this little girl here keeps me sane 
I mean, she, she knows when I'm not the same or something's going on. She's very intelligent. For Lil John and many veterans, service dogs help manage post-traumatic stress. I remember what we ate yesterday, but the day before, I can't tell you what that was most of the time, but I can tell you where we were in Vietnam, Quan Loy, Tain Inn, Camp Evans, uh, LZ Dog, just like yesterday. And then you think about the guys you lost. The one, one of the guys we lost, he was like three days from going down to, to uh, Saigon to get out to go meet his wife. And he got three days before, three days is all he had to get to get there. And he got killed by incoming. The Vietnam War took the lives of over 58,000 Americans who served and physically wounded hundreds of thousands more. However, those who made it home without physical injuries still carry emotional weight with them every day. I wear this vest in, for my guys that I lost. And just to make people aware, Vietnam was ugly. This one patch says, um, I was in Vietnam, but I left Vietnam, but Vietnam never left me. That's how I'm living. Not all of John's memories are welcome, but there's no doubt he's proud of his division. The first cab patch is the most noticeable out of anybody. I mean, I've got Marines that come over and thank me. I have Air Force thank me, Army, Navy. They all know what this cab patch is and how we were as a unit. Because we never left anybody, never. No matter what we had to do to get them out, we got them out. A yellow shield and a horse to symbolize their horseback roots, and a black line to represent iron armor. In Vietnam, they became the Army's first air mobile division. Air mobile operations are commonplace in the war in Vietnam. Helicopters used as transports, carrying men, weapons, and materiel soaring easily over terrain obstacles that would have immobilized ground vehicles. Riding helicopters instead of horses or mechanized vehicles, the 1st Cavalry Division Air Mobile will, as always, lead the way. I had over 15 odd hours flying, uh, always, in the air every day, but we were always vulnerable. When you did a combat assault, you came into like a three-foot hover, and you were still creeping along, and everybody's piling out the door. And they were in full, full contact. Bullets were flying everywhere, and we were just throwing the ammo, grenades, and cases just out. And then they all went like that, the way we went. To the guys on the ground, we were God's last hope. I mean, they, uh, you could see the joy on their face when they saw us coming in to pick them up. He just grabbed, he just grabbed it. Here we go. That was a big fish. Holy cow, he's dumping. We still got him. Well, now we finally got him on the right rig, so. Oh, look at him, look at him. Doing good? Yeah, we're still good. I'm gaining line on him, so. Okay. We don't know what it is or how big it is yet. See, it's starting to, yeah, it's starting to act like something real now. Oh, yeah. I ought to be seeing him here. Yeah. Shortly. He's not little. <laughs> oh, he's bigger than I thought. Look at that guy. <laughs> Big spin. Oh, he's a little bull. Yeah. He's probably about 200, 250. Part of that freedom you guys are fighting for. Yep. Is this woods and water we have. Oh yeah, absolutely. And our access to it and the way we protect these animals keep these fisheries healthy. There he goes. And away he goes. He's going. Gone with the wind. <laughs> Beautiful job, Thanks. sir. It's just to be out on the water and, and be able to see nature in the wild and be able to play with something like that. It's just unbelievable.
The Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund is a nonprofit organization with a mission to honor and preserve the legacy of service and educate all generations about the impact of the Vietnam War. If you'd like to personally thank a veteran that you saw in one of our episodes, or nominate a veteran to be featured on a future episode, log on to our website, OperationFishingFreedom.com. Operation Fishing Freedom is brought to you by SKB Cases, Thorn Brothers, and by Temple Bay Lodge. In fall of 1969, Lil John headed home. Leaving was hard, but yet you thought about going home, but yet you hated to leave all these guys you've been with. I was leaving all my brothers. We all said we were brothers from different mothers. The homecoming of a soldier, a spectacle during World War II, and now video stream celebrations and surprises across the nation. Sadly, during the Vietnam War, this honor skipped a generation. We were scorned. I mean, they called us baby killers. I mean, there was no crowds waiting for us. It's just war. It's just a nasty war. Vietnam veterans have a special place in our hearts. That was when we learned to separate the warrior from the war. And what that came to mean for America is how our troops are treated today. Oh yeah, yeah. And I can't tell you how much we appreciate what you did and you be in here and we got a little something for you. <laughs> we have your very own, own shirt. It says Lil John on the front. Maybe some of those guys you picked up will recognize that. It says your name on the back. I'll cherish that. That is really cool. We got that. And then I got one more. This is a custom rod we had built just for you. Uh, it says on there, handcrafted for Lil John Reichenberg. Great, great being with you guys and fishing. Yes. But, um, it was life. I got through it. I'm still alive today, and I'm hoping a lot of vets out there that got through it and need help, go get the help. That's the only thing you can do. You can't fight it on your own. You definitely, you're gonna end up in a bad place. I was hiding what I felt. I had many, many demons to fight. Vietnam vets are still committing suicide. I mean, I, I'll truthfully tell you, I almost committed suicide. I had my uh, 45 in my mouth, and I wouldn't have realized what a grand life I could have been leaving, even with my demons and my stuff that I go through, what I have. So I did a lot of counseling. Don't give up. Take that step. Go to someone, anyone, and if you don't know anyone, Go to a shelter, talk to someone at the shelter, talk to a, uh, go to a, a VA association, the American Legion or the Veterans of Foreign War. They have people there that you can talk to and that people will help you to get the benefits that you need, that you are, should have. I know what a person feels like when, it, when they're gonna commit suicide. It, I mean, it would cause more pain to, to your mom or dad or your wife than you can imagine. It's probably would be as bad a pain as you're feeling before you pull that trigger. It just wrecks a family. It's just, it's just horrible to do. I only know that because I didn't do it. Lil John still struggles with post-traumatic stress to this day, but he has found outlets to live his best life. He has found that nature, his hobbies, and helping others are a way to cope. I just enjoy being in a car and listening to the sound, watching the road. It's like driving a fishbowl. Everybody turns and looks at that car. For anybody that's watching the show, if they got trouble with PTSD, I'm 100%. Getting into metal detecting is, is really rewarding. It's solitude, you're out there, you got your earphones on, you're listening to this machine, looking in the ground, and you're moving it left and right. I'm not thinking about anything else. Nothing else enters my mind. Fishing the same way. It's quiet, it's solitude, and being out there with nature 
I don't know what it is, it just straightens you right out. Fishing, metal detecting, in my cars, that's, that's where I'm at. If you'd like to personally thank a veteran that you saw in one of our episodes, or nominate a veteran to be featured on a future episode, log on to our website, operationfishingfreedom.com.